What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears with daily videos, updates, and in-depth analysis, always knowledge over narratives. Today I want to talk about some injury updates and then specifically get into David Montgomery's injury status and what I expect. We have some potentially good news on the wide receiver front as Valus Jones Jr. continues trending towards making his debut this weekend. The coaches have been extremely cautious with V12. He had a hamstring injury in camp after making an exciting preseason debut. As most of you know, hamstring injuries are tricky and can linger for an entire season. So the coaches have been rightfully cautious because they don't want this to bother Valus all season long. It's a long year, guys. 18 weeks, 17 games. We are three games into the season, and a lot of our fan base has already written off guys like Valus Jones Jr., Tyler Gordon, and even Justin Fields. It's kind of insane if you think about it. V12 hasn't even made his debut yet, and people have already given up on him. After three games. Three. Anyway, the signs are positive that he will make his debut this weekend. I think Valus brings an explosive dynamic to our offense, both as a deep threat and just as a weapon with the ball in his hands that defenses will have to respect. Right now, they don't respect our passing game much at all. I think Valus will help that a lot. His 4-3 speed and ability to break tackles in the open field make him a dangerous weapon in the NFL. At the very least, he adds another dimension to our kick return game. Speaking of our kick return game, I wanted to make a quick point that Treston Ebner is currently second in the NFL in average yards per kick return. He's done a really good job as a returner so far. However, Valus makes that unit much more dangerous. I can't wait until he makes his debut. Also, Nikhil Harry is eligible to return to the roster on Monday, October 3rd, the day after the Giants game and my birthday. Is he ready yet? I'm not sure, but he has had enough time to recover from a high ankle sprain. Will he be ready to play next week? Mm, that's tough to call, but his return should not be forgotten. Nikhil is an impressive physical specimen and probably the most physically gifted wideout on our entire roster. He has a chance to really help our passing game as well. Nikhil is one of those guys who has all the talent in the world to be successful in the NFL. It comes down to how bad he wants it and whether or not he can stay on the field and make the most of his opportunities. He's still only 24 years old and is just oozing with potential. Now let's get into the entire injury report from yesterday before I break down David Montgomery's injury. The guys who missed practice completely were linebacker Matt Adams, defensive backs Dane Cruikshank and Jalen Johnson, and running back David Montgomery. Tight end Ryan Griffin returned to practice on a limited basis. Griffin is a very underrated part of our offense and is a good blocker and a nice big pass target with good hands in the passing game. I already talked about Valus, who had another limited practice. Roquan Smith also had a limited practice. I'm not worried about Quan, who balled out against the Texans after not practicing all week. Honestly, maybe Quan is better off resting all week and saving that energy for Sundays. His hips seemed fine to me. And then lastly, I want to talk about David Montgomery's injury. Now, first, I'm not a doctor, and I don't know anything when it comes to the medical field. I just know that Coach Eberflus has said the injury prognosis was good and that Monty is day-to-day. -day. To me, this means clearly that he didn't tear anything or break anything. Now, if you're squeamish, I want to give you a fair warning here. We are going to watch the injury for those of you who missed what happened, and then I will talk about why I don't think there is much chance that Monty plays this weekend. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, and I don't know any inside information or anything like that. I have, however, seen injuries like this occur a ton in my life watching the NFL. Usually it's one of two outcomes. One is something is torn and the player is out for the season or a very long time. The other is that it's just a sprain and that they end up fine, but they do miss anywhere from one to four weeks. Cedric Benson had a similar injury at Soldier Field, and so have countless others. 
With that being said, I'm going to show you guys the injury. If you don't want to see it, this is my last warning to look away, divert your eyes. Okay, so this is the David Montgomery injury. This is Monty right here blocking. You can see here Sam Mustafer got beat. And he's going to kind of push that guy. He's going to fall onto Monty's. We're going to watch in slow motion really quick, and then I'm going to show you guys from a different angle. Right here, see Monty's blocking and falls right onto his knee, lower leg. It's a tough one to watch, but knowing that he didn't tear anything, really good sign. Really good sign, honestly. Here's the other angle. We're going to have Cody White here pulling. And Sam Mustafer's job is to block this guy right here. Let's watch what happens. White hair is pulling. Guy is going to take outside leverage like he should. Musty, he's just, he's not reacting quick enough here. Knowing his athletic limitations. Gets beat. And then he's going to kind of grab his back here and push him. This is... You see over here, this is where we're going to watch Monty's blocking. Monty's doing a pretty good job blocking because Blasting Game missed the block over here. And this is where his leg gets exposed. Gonna, this is a better angle right here. See, he's going to plant this leg. I think what saves him here is the leg wasn't fully planted yet. We're going to watch very slowly. Oh. That, this is one that... Honestly, the only reason I'm watching this is because Monty didn't tear his ACL. If this is one where when I first saw it live, I thought I thought Monty was done for the year. But knowing that he's okay, oh, this one was Oh, I'm not going to watch it again. I just want to say that's one that was we are very we are very lucky that Monty didn't have a more serious injury on that. That being said, I don't expect him to play this week. I expect him to maybe miss a game or two and then be back. That being said, he's a very, very tough player. Do I think that he could play this weekend if it was a playoff game or a big-time matchup? Yes, I think maybe he could, but I don't see Monty playing this week. Eberflus did say, however... That he's day to day. So there's nothing major there, I don't believe. I think this is just going to be maybe a knee and an ankle sprain. Um, maybe two separate sprains on the knee and ankle. But I do think Monty will be back in just a couple of weeks. It is good news. Sorry for anybody out there that was squeamish and didn't want to see that. I tried to give you guys ample warnings. But uh, Monty should be back soon. But I do not expect him to play this weekend. If you have him in your fantasy lineup, um, you don't have Khalil Herbert, you might want to look for other options. But I don't expect Monty to play this weekend. And that's all for this video. I'm back to work on my All-22 breakdown. I might have another video or two out today, especially if there's any breaking news or what happens with the injury report. And then I have some more videos coming as well. Stay tuned. Remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time, guys, bear down.